Hello there, everybody. This is Steve K. Steve Klebrowski, or Steve Charisma, if you still want to call me that. I'm back with another video here on my YouTube, and forgive me, I have not been doing a lot of videos because I've been extremely busy with what's been going on. So, I'm back here to do a video of an update to let you all know what's going on, because I've just not been uploading a lot of videos. I've only uploaded maybe like once a week and stuff, or maybe even once every two weeks. So, apologies once again. So, as some of you know, and some of you may not know, um, last year, I unfortunately lost my grandparents. My grandfather passed in October, and my grandmother passed in November, not long after my grandfather passed, like, not even a month. So... Ever since that time, things have been nothing but hell to me, and there was really nothing to smile about. I mean, I'm still not able to smile because of what's been going on, because I've been struggling with what's been going on. So, basically, I stayed with my aunt in the house that I was in since 2003, and I am not there in the house anymore. I will get to that in a second. So, I wound up staying with my aunt at the house from November 2018 to October 2019 right here. So I had to stay with her because I had no choice. I was going to move in with Christine, but her father would not allow it because he wanted me to have a job first and go to a welfare program, a place that like helps people that don't have very much money or you know, unemployed and all that stuff. But he managed to find me a job in his business, in the carpenter business, and I am worked as a carpenter's helper for him, and I did pretty well, but I haven't worked there in over a month now. I am still employed by the company, but pretty much they have not gotten back to me, and they will let me know, because if they do need help, they will say something to me. So anyway, um, once again, I'm sorry I have not made a lot of videos, but just forgive me, I've been extremely busy. So anyway... Uh, me and my aunt stayed in the house, and I did try to look for a job and all that, but no places really called me or had interest in me. The only one that really helped was Mr. John's company, my uh, Christine's father, when he said that he would, you know, help me with that. So it was working out pretty well, but then all of a sudden my money just absolutely went gone because I just, um, I could, I should have created a bank account is what I should have done. But now I do have one, and I just pretty much should have took more care of my money. So, But unfortunately, my aunt and me have not gotten along a lot of times because our relationship back in the 90s has not been that great. Same with the 2000s and present. Well, the thing is, unfortunately, my aunt, unfortunately, has a very bad attitude sometimes. I'm the same way, too, but... Believe me, um, I don't whine and complain and nag a lot of times like my aunt does. Because believe me, you know, it was not very easy living there. I wanted to live with Chris. And I thought I was going to in November because I spent the night there a few times with her. Uh, a couple times I did in one of their bedrooms that they have there. And, you know, it was going pretty well. But then they wanted me to come home and talk things over. So we did. But then me and my aunt had more arguments again and I had to get away from her I went to her house again and spent a couple nights there again and then they wanted me to come back and I'm like okay so <clears throat> so we talked things over again and of course they kept telling me you need to find a job and I'm like I'm aware of that this has been going on for a while and why do you think that I'm on my computer all the time because I'm putting in applications but every time I put them in they never get back to me but I would call some of them and they would tell me we're either not hiring at the moment or we will get back to you when we can. But they always say, call them, you know, keep calling them and see what they say. So, but the thing is, you know, I have a phone. I have this iPhone that my cousin had me on, but I can't make calls on it. I can't receive calls because of the fact that I resetted this because my cousin was taking advantage of me because... He didn't tell me that it was like $40 a month to pay for this phone. He always told me, pay me what you can. And when somebody says that, you know that um, they just say, well, he pretty much you know, said that and 
that just really got me upset because when he told me it was going to be 40 and I kept saying, you kept telling me, pay me what you can. And that's not right. So, and also he told me before, when you have a job and I know you will, I will put you on my account and all that or the thing for the phone. And pretty much he um, said he would do that, but it never happened. It, well, it did happen, but he just wanted me to pretty much pay 40 as I said. But I occasionally get on Discord sometimes and talk to people like Hunter and Marty and a few others, but I've really not been getting on there because of the fact that I haven't really had much time. And mostly I've been talking to Chris. So... Anyway, so me and my aunt still continue to have arguments, but unfortunately when we got to like the month of, I think, April and May, and that's when we found out that we are losing our house, and we owe like a lot of money to the bank, and we couldn't afford it, and even if we did pay it, it wouldn't have been enough, it wouldn't have helped anyway, because the house, it was just way too costly to live in. It was a single home, and we've been there since 2003, as I said, and pretty much it's going to be going on the market pretty soon. So, yesterday, me and my aunt had an argument again, and I wound up, you know, uh, saying that I was going to leave, and she, of course, she was happy with that, because she knows we don't get along, but personally, she's hard to get along with. You know, she's not really, like, I mean, I do love her, she is my aunt, but she needs to realize she cannot throw an attitude a lot of times, and cannot nag and complain a lot. I mean, I know I may complain sometimes, but I don't do it constantly like she does. So, and unfortunately, um, recently, me and Christine are not in a relationship right now. Just some issues that are going on right now, but there may be a time one day when we may get back together. But we're still talking to each other, and we still love each other very much, and we care for each other very much, too. And that just really hurt me, unfortunately, that all that happened, but... Like I said, we're still talking, and we still love each other, and there may be a time we may get back together. But um, as of right now, I am living at my mom's house with my mom, stepfather, and sister, and I'm going to be looking for some work around here. There's some places where I can apply. There are plenty of places, like there's a Rite Aid that my granddad actually worked at for several years. That probably would be the best place for me to go. I could work as a, like, uh, stock worker, like I could stock shelves, or I could be a cash register worker, one of them jobs, because my grandfather worked there for several years, probably since the early 70s or maybe late 60s to about uh, 1997 or 1998, one of them years, maybe early 2000s, I don't know. And like I said, that may be the best thing for me, because... He worked there for several years, and I could follow in his footsteps. I can't be a pharmacist like he was because I did go to school, but for some of you that don't know, I dropped out in the seventh grade. And why did I drop out? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, I was bullied. And number two, a lot of the kids, if I would have continued, I would have went to another school where a lot of children backtalked their teachers, and it was a really, really rough area, and we had to move. So we figured like around the year of 2000, 2001, we said, we need to get out of here. We need to get another house somewhere and move to a better neighborhood. It was just getting really, really rough with the crimes and drug things that were going on too because we live close to downtown Baltimore, but not really that close, maybe about 10, 15 minutes. But uh, then we moved to Parkville, the Baltimore County area, but still close to Baltimore City, but about maybe 5, 10 minutes so. And we enjoyed living in that house. We really did. I mean, but unfortunately, when everything went downhill last year, it just absolutely took a toll on us. And it's still having a toll on us. I mean, I've been crying because I've been missing my grandparents dearly and Christine as well. I mean, even though, as I said, once again, I'm glad we're still talking, but um, we haven't really been hanging out that much. I mean, just a little bit. But... uh but things will definitely work out. I mean, I'm, I know pretty much I will probably find a job somewhere. I mean, I'm not doubting myself saying I'm not going to find one because you got to have faith in yourself and believe that things will work out. I mean, it will. It's just a different 
thing, you know, that's going on and stuff, you know, like, well, you know what I mean, just a lot of things that are just, you know, have been going on, but once again, you know, they will work out, so, but, uh, for everybody that's been, you know, supporting me and stuff, you know, ever since this has been going on, I appreciate every one of you for always, you know, standing by my side and doing this for me, I mean, this is a very rough time, for what's going on, and please pray that things, you know, get better in the future, I mean, I really hope they do, I mean, I, I'm not trying to doubt anything, you know, about it not getting better, but I just hope that things, you know, do get better, and wherever I find a job somewhere, where whether if I got to work at McDonald's or anywhere, I can basically work to get some work in, but again, it can work out, and I believe it will once again, so... Yep, that's uh, pretty much it. So I'm just, I just want to give everybody an update, you know, with what's going on, as I said. So, um, thanks everybody for watching this, and um, everybody enjoy your Monday today. It's a nice day here in Baltimore. It's a little bit chilly though because weather is starting to get a little cooler. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here for now, as I'm gonna be putting in some job applications pretty soon. So. Alright, everybody take care, enjoy your day, and thank you again for watching this video.